had an aqua vac or two on our channel now before but you may have heard me call the previous ones the 620 the bulldog that was just a slip of the tongue because it wasn't a bulldog was it it was a completely different machine this is a bulldog as you can tell it is different it is later this is well into the 1990s i think global wise very much a shock back brand now I bought an Aquavac Bulldog for a bloke on a car forum for £25. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Ironically, despite being different to the Aquavac 620s, look at model number 62000-1. Very, very close. Made in Ireland, and yeah, as you can see, we are very, very global here, compared to the very basic brown box that my first 620 came is came in this is worlds apart and yeah as I cut the tape we can see that it's designed for use in the house and the garage dry oh sorry quiet powerful motor ha <laughs> we should be testing that picks up all sorts of debris and dust yes I'm sure it does full range of additional accessories available and yes they are we have the bulk pickup kit itself now the this duct tape wasn't on the pictures of this when I first you know, got told about it, which is a bit of a shame, but equally it's probably just going to make the box itself a bit stronger to store. So that's cool. Let's see if I can peel them back as much as possible. It is ripping the box, so it's got to stay on, but at least it can not be peeling off. Don't actually know what's in here. All I saw was this closed box. He says it has all the tools. Let's work out if it's correct or not. Oh, there is the other side of my paperwork. Yeah. So we have a hose. We have some of the ones, look, one part of it. I think we're going to have to take this out. So see if there's anything else here is the machine look much different much much different we have a crevice tool which does fit I'm not entirely sure it's for that it looks like it's from a Panasonic up white vacuum cleaner but hey ho and then there's some other bits in here but I don't know to what ooh, renovate there to what they are, but they are from this look, some very sadly mouse chewed bits and bobs. And let's take out all the paperwork that I can see, that's nothing to do with it, and take a closer look. Have an Argos accessories by mail order pack. Hello. Oh, look, an Argos before they used to be all cool and online that's cool i've no idea what's in here oh look it's yeah accessories for every single thing that they do so I did we have an aquavac registration card and slightly mouse chewed bit of a shame but look we could register this ah buy genuine aquavac spares the easy way aha revision october 1995 there we go so look we can buy all of our parts and then oh this is such a shame ah. i wouldn't expect the any of the manuals i can't be too upset but oh look ah. we had the manuals well actually it's showing a different cleaner such as the interchangeability of these, look, it is showing a completely different vacuum cleaner to the one that we have here. But hey ho, oh, such a shame. Visual paperwork, 
so near and so far. And then we have some instruction manuals for a lamp, which I don't think is anything to do with this. So, okay, very cool. Big old shame about the fact that it's all been eaten, but you know, we can't do that. Oh, here we go, like accessories. The accessories included with your cleaner are listed below. We are missing a couple of things, the floor nozzle and etc. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, can they? Well, yeah, we have enough. Yeah, this is actually possibly the dusty work that I need to complete my goblin Rio, which is very nice. It borrows its dusting brush from my goblin laser. So there we go. And yeah, we have some tools. They seem okay. Hose isn't split, etc. Have a look at, oh, very jumpy. To. Let's have a look at this Goblin Aquavac Bulldog. It is a lot smaller than the 620. Even though, yeah, Type 620P. This has a broken part as well, the 620. Oh, look at that then. Ah, seen that. Yeah. Look, there is a big bit of plastic missing from back there. But, hey, what can you do? So open it up, no idea what the stage is. It uses the same latches as the Mark I version of the 620 did. Various bits of epoxy. How clean is it? Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. So this is the cartridge filter, which I don't have with the other ones. The other ones have their inner cloth liner. So there's that. That probably looks okay enough to keep for now. That then shows us all of our... This, this is identical, really, to the 620 in terms of how it looks and works and probably is. And in here, look, we have a non-rusty bin. Ta-da! Yeah, still obviously quite rusty, but not completely and utterly destroyed. It is a big old shame. Oh, about, I would say about that, but we'll look at this first. It's a big old shame about the dolly look being broken with a fantastic repair. Until I remember that looks identical to the Aquavac 620, for which I have one of those upstairs. I'm also thinking that these dents are probably going to be quite easy to just bash out because they haven't popped the lower ring. Yeah, thankfully, I don't think we need to do too much in terms of rust conversion. Removing for this, it can just be washed and tap the dents out, really. Um, yeah, don't think it's got the original cable. That's probably why it's broken on the back and broken on the back and the switch is hanging out. That's that. That's fun. Look at that. Oh dear. Um, don't even think it's broken shipping. I think it's just sort of how it was. Uh, it should be all right. Hot glue may fix it. And a very boring plug. Just grey. No name. Modern, of course. Um, Etc. Right, we're going to turn the switch on because I've got a feeling we're going to have to plug it in to turn it on here. I'll show that the Aquavac there look is embossed and they did change that because I've seen a Wix branded one. I'm sure there's been a Halfords branded one as well. These got very cheap, very cheerful and branded up with a fair few things in their day. There we go. Pop this back in the broken dolly for now. Yeah, it's not too bad. I was say these these got trashed even more than the other Aquavac purely because what's that blue hinge? Purely because of their cheapness, these really were the forty nine pound ninety nine ones. Well, even that's the original hose. I think it must be. It doesn't seem to fit, but hey ho. Right, let me apply some power. And we'll see if it turns on. Very, very short, tiny little cable. And here we go. Nice and quiet. Oh, 
I mean, it's lovely and quiet, really, really peaceful to use. And yeah, I mean, these tools are not from it, I, I do not think. But you know, it picks up the bits. <laughs> bless it but yeah all in all it's not too bad the main problem with the thing is is that where the dolly's broken as soon as you try and turn it it just it doesn't it's not bad but yeah it likes to do that bless it thank goodness i kept the other dolly oh i don't know yeah i'm fairly pleased with it really you can tell especially now that they're side by side but yes these were very very different machines obviously i'll be fancy with this one and put the dolly pointy end up so that it's less easy to tip forward like this one is and yeah they are almost the same but very 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 different this has had this style of bin assembly itself and yeah i'd imagine all of the parts are completely interchangeable as well just that this one is a lot bigger than this one this one also works a lot lots better as well having a fitted bag which this can have and you know a clean filter does help a lot so mm, my little impulse buy whoops i don't really need it i've got a boulder i've got an aqua vest it's a problem i call this a bulldog it's not they are very very different very different indeed but yeah there we go i bought a thing Thought you'd like to see said thing, and here it is an Aquavac Bulldog vacuum cleaner. Oh, I suppose I should put the wheels on properly so that you can see it. We'll do that when I've smashed the dents out of it. Until then, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and probably this, will see you soon. Bye bye.